You've already seen this mead target fitted with a reducer, a rat shape for the metal silhouette and you've seen how it works. This one is more or less the same made by Barry Mead. It's got the same features, a hole, a paddle at the back to knock it down, the label at the front with his name on, small hole for the string to pull it up upright again after you've knocked it down. I'm showing you this simply because this is a rat with a reducer, this is a rat without the reducer and that's the original size hole before the reducer was fitted. Not only is it different just because of that simple device, the reducer, but if you look at the shape of the back of the rat, it's very slightly different, more so this part here. The ear, that's definitely a different shape. The head size and shape of the rat, the head part, that's definitely a different shape. The front arm, the front leg, paw, whatever you want to call it, that's definitely a different size, different shape as well. And as you come down here, although you've got the same basic similar shapes and cut out to the rat shape, it is different. And finally, as you come down to the foot, the back leg, the back paw, whatever you want to call that, again, this shape is slightly different. And looking at this one, the way the metal's folded over for the hinge and the shape of the back leg there, the cut there in the metal, that seems to be to make it a simpler item to make. But unfortunately this leg now, it must have taken a few knocks. It's starting to bend a bit, gone backwards a little bit. Nothing that will stop it from working. But this one, there's no bend to it at all. It's a little bit thicker, a little bit shorter, and it's more up from the bend so probably more time consuming to make but a little less damageable but overall this is basically the same and I don't think anybody would have really noticed while he was selling these targets obviously it must have been on an individual basis and I don't think anybody would really notice the difference and it seems to, to suggest although it all seems well made nicely cut out and a nice shape to everything. It seems to be between the two it looks like he made these by hand rather than by machine. Call it craftsmanship, workmanship, I don't know but it just goes to show a bit of quality, thought out item and it's still working today.